Jim, there are about 10 million cases of identity theft every year. So now insurance companies want to sell protection just in case your good name gets stolen. It's a nightmare to go to be the victim of this. Meet Sharon Stone. No, not the movie star, the one who's been fighting identity theft for six years. It feels like you've been attacked, you, you've been violated. And all of this is related to this. Oh. This Sharon Stone had to turn to a lawyer to get her good name back because since 1999 someone's been charging hundreds of dollars in different so accounts to her name. It's so bad that when her job transferred her to D.C., she couldn't even rent an apartment. I had no place to stay, and it was all because of my credit report. Stone's attorney, Sonia Smith-Valentine, handles the worst of the worst identity theft cases. How bad is it? I've got clients who've spent hundreds of hours. They've been fighting for years. So now insurance companies are promoting identity theft insurance policies. They offer to cover lost wages, pay for attorney fees, and even hire a firm to help you fight identity theft issues. Well, many consumers will find it very Ed Hogue sells identity theft insurance for Allstate. Most consumers will find that they themselves won't have ample time to involve themselves in all the issues that could arise. Allstate's insurance costs $40 per year if you're already an Allstate customer. However, other so-called identity theft resolution companies charge up to $1,000. But the Federal Trade Commission says the majority of identity theft victims can restore their identities themselves with minimal time and cost. We did a survey a few years ago and we found out for those victims it takes about an average of 30 hours to resolve. To help, the FTC offers a free hotline with live counselors and a universal affidavit that consumers can use to notify credit bureaus and other agencies. Like it came off right. this one. But if your situation gets like Sharon Stone's, you still may need an attorney to get your identity back. I'm walking in under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which requires the credit card companies or any other company that puts information on your credit report and the credit bureaus to do what we call a proper reinvestigation. And if they fail in that duty, I'm coming in to say you were obligated under the law to do a proper investigation and you haven't done one because if you had, you would have known this wasn't my client. So will Sharon Stone get her identity back? I'm hoping that my attorney can straighten everything out and basically I can go back to being the anonymous Sharon Stone. Now, if you're an ID theft victim, the FTC does want to help. You can go to its website through ours, NBC4.com, click Consumer, and then Consumer Links, or you can dial 1-877-ID-theft.